Okay, week in review, February 6th, 2023. I'm gonna start off with a couple comments from last week's video and then um, have a couple other things I will address or talk about. First comment is Team Lagore. That was the name of the commenter. Dave, are you announcing the open wads this year or just open wads? Uh, no, I'm not announcing the workouts for this year. Second comment, Elk Hunter. Have you considered, so he had a really long comment, but I just took a brief portion of it. Have you considered an old school event at the ranch? So actually I have, and um, a couple different expressions of it. And I think it'd be really exciting. And I get really excited when I think about it. And when I was not with CrossFit, it was one of the things I was gonna do uh, on my own. But now that I'm back with CrossFit, I'll do it with CrossFit. The, essentially hosting the first ever CrossFit Games here one weekend, probably in uh, some point in the summer, but imagine that. So, and this isn't for the best athletes, this is for anyone in the CrossFit community and really specifically for anyone and everyone. Essentially come to the ranch for a weekend and do the first three workouts ever at the CrossFit Games. Do the, the total, do the, uh, the chipper workout that we had, and well, it wasn't a chipper. It was a it was a triplet with a with a buy-in, or actually it was a couplet with a buy-in, and uh, and do the trail run, and then have scales for all of those. So gyms and have a gym division, an affiliate division. I mean, um, so gyms can come with all of their members and have the opportunity to to compete in a piece of history. Obviously, have the full RX division all the way down to uh, to multiple different scales for the three different events. So. That is something I've thought about for a very long time. I think it would be really cool for us to, uh, to do, and I'm gonna try to put that together at some point um, if I can get permission from the county, essentially. We've had a lot of issues with the county and doing big events here, um, so, but I think that would be a really cool event. And again, not for like the top athletes, if any of them wanna come, sure, but really for the community and for, for having a, a place for us to come rally. And honestly, if that's a success, that could become an annual thing almost, and or five of the CrossFit games uh, have been here in some form or another. Imagine each of those happening. So again, maybe the next year we do the 2008 games here, essentially come compete in the four workouts we did at that event. Anyways, that's something I've thought about doing here um, to answer your question. I think it's not exactly what you're asking because you elaborate more in your comment, but that's where I take that and I think I would like to execute on something. This morning had a call with the Striveworks team and the Apex Path team, General Donahue, and a really good call going over the first two weeks of the program. There's a lot of excitement around it. We have the third week of the program starting tomorrow. Again, Tuesday, one day course, 50 soldiers at third ID. Wednesday, same thing, repeat, Thursday, same thing. So our cadre is flying in tonight. They'll conduct three courses and then they'll fly back um, Friday. And we repeat that for multiple weeks going forward in uh, this year. From that, a number of other people have reached out with um, expressing interest in the course. So if you have any, if you do have any interest in bringing a one day introduction course or exposing it to your soldiers or whoever, uh, email me, Dave at CrossFit.com. A few days ago, the, uh, the game site posted a video that had um, kind of a collection of the announcements that, the open announcements that I was involved with over the years, which up until 18 was every single one. Then things got weird in 18 with the restructure of the games of the game season. So I guess in 19, I didn't do any. 20 came back, did a couple, I guess I did them in 2021. Don't remember exactly. And then obviously last year I wasn't involved. This year I won't be involved. And so um, what it made me think of, it was the first one they showed was 2012. So the 2012 Open. And the first clip is me doing the announcement in uh, at CrossFit Valley, or Valley CrossFit in LA, Chris Clever's original gym. What's funny about that, so the first that first year, the first workouts we, actually that was the second year. That first year I was announcing, those weren't, live those were pre-recorded we flew to gyms and and i announced the workout the reason we ended up there so the first year 2011 was the first year we had the open and um 
Tony Budding, who is essentially my partner, my thought partner in the games and executing the games, and someone really critical at that time in the development and growth of CrossFit, uh, the methodology, the brand, and specifically the media department and the games. He's responsible for a lot of, honestly, a lot of our growth at that time. He's often over, overlooked and not given enough credit from, uh, honestly, from Greg, from myself, from Nicole, from others. He, he was a massive force in CrossFit uh, for those years he was there. And so he was a critical partner in, in the development of the games in those early years and, and the direction it went. So he, uh, he did the videos for the first year open, which was 2011. And Tony's a very intellectual guy. And they were just, let's say, a little in, for my taste, a little too verbose and lengthy. So I watched him do the, we, they weren't even announcements, but just, yeah, I guess they were announcements. The workouts for the first open, and after that, I was like, hey, Tony, that's just way too long. Why don't we condense them? Why don't you, you know, basically not talk so much? And at some point, he said, why don't you just do them then? And I said, all right, fine. I'll, I'll do the workout, and I will announce the workout in a much more condensed way. So that's how, that, that's how I ended up announcing the second year's workouts because actually Tony Buddy announced all of the first years and so we went to um, Valley CrossFit then eventually we went to I think went to Iceland we also went to Cookville and we went to Columbus and in Iceland worked with Annie obviously in Columbus worked with Graham Holmberg in Cookville worked with Rich Dan and Elijah Muhammad and so and those that second piece was all filmed in one little go. We traveled to, uh, to all those different locations and filmed each workout. W one interesting memory from that, so we announced the first week, the seven minutes of burpees, and um, had filmed that and announced it, and then we were traveling on the second week to film the rest. And when we got to Cookville, those guys filmed um, the snatch workout for us in the morning and ended up having, when it was announced a week later, we let their scores uh, go forward to that week, the next week at the time. They ended up having the, uh, some of, two of Rich and Dan, two of the highest scores in the world. They also did um, front squats right after we did that, heavy front squats, and then that evening, actually did a Friday Night Lights and did, at the time, 12.1. And they didn't have the highest score in the world, a Russian athlete did and um, but they had you know top five top ten highest score in the world so after week two and all the scores were tabulated rich was number one I think Dan was right there and what most people don't know is they had done both of those in the same day a few hours apart and it was really an eye-opener to uh, to what these guys were capable of even in in 12 how much volume how often they worked out how much they could uh, press, push themselves and still recover quickly and still perform at a high level. So I said a Russian guy had the highest score on the 7 minutes of burpee 12.1. That's actually not true and I like leading into the story with that way because he was a really small Russian gymnast and everyone was like of course that guy who was like an acrobat and a gymnast, gymnast was going to have the highest score. He was tied with one other guy, someone from the US, a little known athlete at that time named Scott Panchik. So Scott Panchik and, but, but the Russian got all the attention because of his background and from being from Russia and the fact that he was a gymnast. But really there was another athlete who would obviously burst onto the scenes and become a uh, massive figure in our sport. Scott Panchik tied for the highest score. On the women's side of that, Chris Clever had the highest score. And what's interesting is Greg hated that workout. Um, he was not a fan of the seven minutes of burpees, didn't think it was a good test. A lot of, there were a number of people who felt that way, but, but I thought it was an amazing test and I, I stand behind it to this day, specifically because of um, what it does here. It's a massive mental test. That's like, it's a great physical test and it's a great test of your engine, but it's also a, uh, my light just died. It's also a um, tremendous, it's a tremendous uh, mental test of just moving and just pushing and not giving up. So one of my favorites. We had an MDLT2 here this weekend and um, 
it was really cool. So, so back in the day, Greg used to host MDL ones, and basically they were still level one. He, a lot of doctors flew in. There'd be side lectures and other things going on, and tacos at his house, and uh, we'd conduct a level one for them. I guess we haven't done this in a while, but decided to do an MDL two, and this is the first MDL two, and we did it here at the ranch five years ago to the week, almost to the weekend. The first MDL one was hosted here at the ranch, and um, so we hosted an MDL two. People really seemed to enjoy it. It was cool seeing the doctors. A lot of all of them obviously had been to an MDL one, and seeing that group of people engaging in this course in this format. So it was a really good work weekend. Good work by all the team who put that together. Um, I think we'll be doing a lot more of those. Final thing. Um, Programming the Open. I'm not programming the Open this year, so uh, still sign up, enjoy, engage, have fun with the Open, do it at your gym or wherever you're going to do it, but uh, I will not be programming the Open for this year. All right, well, thanks a lot. Thanks for tuning in. I will uh, comment, drop a comment on this video if you want me to cover it, and maybe I'll cover it next week. Thanks. Bye.